chipping, chipping, chipping. If you're trying to get up and down for par or just trying to chip it close for birdie, there's a lot of pressure. And sometimes you end up hitting some bad shots and praying for a better short game. From hitting silly chunky shots to even worse thins off the back of the green, chipping with your short game is not easy. So why not make it simpler? The secret to improving your short game could be in this club right here. The brand new Chipper by Ping. This club has a vast history, but it's got a modern refresh for 2022 from the aesthetics and the technology itself. With 38.5 degrees of loft, but with 35 inches in length, this club is very different from its predecessor, the Chippo, which has been around since about 1970, but has been really popular up to the 2000s. This club certainly is a bit strange, but Ping say it can improve up to 30% of people's short games if you use this little chipper here in comparison to some little wedges. But how good actually is it? In terms of the aesthetics, you can see big improvements. It's got now a substantial sole camber and also it's got a shorter blade to toe length. That added with just the modern refresh really makes it look like a 2022 model. If you looked at the Chippo, rightfully so, it looked rather in the past. Still a very good product, but now using all the new technology, Ping have been able to utilize that and make a product that can really help a lot of people's games. I think a lot of people will be apprehensive when looking at something like this. And maybe it's gonna be targeted towards maybe senior golfers, people who just maybe aren't low handicap players. And I think that's rightfully so, but a lot of people may be surprised by this. By being 35 inches in length, it means you're gonna pretty much hit the middle of the club face every single time. The weighting of it as well, it's kind of between a pitching wedge and a lob wedge and the weight of the head, makes it feel really easy just to get a good stroke on it. And when I say stroke, I really do mean that of a putting stroke because what you can do is just feel it like a putter back and through and you're going to hit the middle of the club face. By being able to just hit the middle of the club face every single time, that one's not too bad, they've gone to about six foot or so. What I've noticed especially is my dispersion when using this is a lot tighter. That's because I'm not a very good golfer either way, but I'm hitting the middle of the club face every single time. And as I understand how it comes out when I hit the middle of the club face, I really just know what's gonna happen. When you're hitting a little chip from 10 yards or so, there's a lot of things you're gonna think of in your head. If you're gonna hit the toe, the heel, how it's gonna come out on the green, it makes you think a lot and it, it gets a bit nerve wracking. What the ping chipper does is it makes golf simpler and that's really important. So those there, you can kind of see my short game isn't very good, but I've hit three and they're all within six foot or so. I'll just hit one more for you guys before I move on to a different area of the course here, because what you'll think is, it's good from this position, but how versatile is it? From the rough, from the fairway, from different positions, is it really gonna be useful to, for you? We'll see. So although I've shown it's worked in the fairway quite well, a club to go in your bag has to be quite versatile. And that, means also in the rough as well. We've got quite a nice day here. It's 23 or so degrees. It's nice weather. What if it's not? There's a lot of things to consider if you want it to go in your bag. Now the chipper has the hydro pearl finish. So out of the rough when it's wet, you're still going to get a little bit of spin, but I have noticed out of the rough, it jumps quite a bit as well. And with it having a low nine iron degree of loft, it's something that takes a little bit of getting used to, as opposed to in the fairway, it was a little bit easier because you knew what's going to happen every single time. This is a little bit more of abnormalities, but something too is quite normal out of the rough. I certainly wouldn't recommend using it in rough any higher than this. It's not a get out of jail free card, let's say. I don't think you're gonna be seeing any pros using it in the high fescue of St. Andrews and things like that. But for us mere mortals in conditions like this, when the rough's not too high, there's definitely an advantage here because you're doing the same repeatable motion with this golf club, almost like a putting stroke. And it's quite easy to do. The question you need to ask yourself is, is it worth it taking your space out of your bag? How much are you gonna use it on the course? Here at Manning's Heath, one of the best courses in the Southeast, there are some holes where it'd be rendered obsolete because if you've got some very slopey greens, if you've got some false fronts and things like that, it may not be the answer because you can't really hit this club, hit this ball into a false front. You're gonna need a little bit of loft. If you're playing some links courses, that's where this club is absolute money because when you're from 20 to 80 foot away, this is a club that's gonna be really beneficial for you because you don't have to worry about hitting it out of the toe or out of the heel. I think there's always some misconceptions though about having a, a chipper in your bag. I think 
if you think of someone or a categorised golfer who has a chipper in their bag, you instantly look towards a senior golfer or someone who struggles with their game. I don't really think this would necessarily target just that. It certainly is for people who struggle with chipping, but if you just want something that you want consistency with, I think this is quite a good club. I think maybe we need to destigmatize using chippers, so maybe I'll put it in the bag for the next six months and see how I get on with it. I think this club can be really helpful for a lot of people watching this video, and I really like the way in which Ping are marketing it. They're not saying it's for everyone, they're saying for 30% of golfers, this will provide you superior results in comparison to what you currently have in the bag. The question you have to ask yourself is, is it worth it? And are the courses that I play on suitable for a little chipper like this? There definitely are some reservations I have about it. Let's say in the winter, I don't think this will be as useful. If you're playing a lot of dry courses year round, links courses, things where you wanna keep it low, this is really useful for you. If you play the right courses and if you have a space in your bag for a little ping chipper, I really do think this could be the club for you. And between 160 to 170 pounds, depending on a graphite or steel sharp, it doesn't really break the bank either for a club that could definitely help you out long term. If you are new to Golf Magic, guys, smash that subscribe button down below. We've got plenty more videos to come and give me some suggestions as to what you want me to do as well. Some comparisons with this, some long drive stuff like that. Let me know down in the comments. That's it for me today, guys. See you at the next video.